going on YouTube, a quick video here, the 2016 Honda Pilot. Uh, replacing the cabin air filter real quick. This is going to be, I got this part right here on eBay. I think the uh, 2016 to 2019, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I bought this for my other cars before. It seems to be like a good quality uh, cabin filter. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels nice and some nice weight to it. But here we go. Uh, put up the glove. And uh, right here you want to just push in. Other side, same thing. And voila, there you go. Just keep note, uh, right here it says airflow. Got an arrow pointing down. So what you want to do is on each corner, this little tab, push it in. It should come right out. And this doesn't really seem that dirty, but at the same time, this oh okay, it is a it is a Honda. It is a Honda. This is a 2016, but this uh, Pilot has like 61,000 miles. So, I've only had it about a month. It looks like somebody replaced the filter. It looks like somebody replaced it with a, an original Honda filter. Um, should I replace it? I uh, don't think I'm going to replace this because... It doesn't look like it needs to be replaced. It doesn't look like it needs to be replaced. And you just make sure anyway, if you replace yours, make sure you put those arrows facing down because that's where the airflow goes. Let me switch this this way. You just slide it in the slot. Make sure it goes down nice and flush. I guess they have bent that piece right there somehow when they whoever put it in before, but I'm not worried about that too much. It's sealed up, so nice and flush all the way around. I've seen some videos where people take away. And it look like this one has it. Did it have it and didn't put it back. Looks like we got the slot for it. But, anyways, and that's all to it. Make sure you got the airflow. Make sure that I got that little foam. This goes around here. I don't feel comfortable with this putting it this way. Let me just switch it around. There's this foam right here. Make sure that foam doesn't get messed up. You're not gonna have a good seal. It looks like this has a little lip right here. See this little lip right here? Looks like this little lip right here. It maybe looks like, I guess it has a lip on both sides, front and back. Maybe that's where these people messed up with this. Maybe you have to, yeah. Maybe you have to make sure that that first lip piece of the filter goes in right. You know, why does it keep? Why does it keep buckling up like that? I need two hands for this. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I see where whoever put this filter in before messed up. Uh, let me show you over here. This is the bottom. Remember that lip I showed you guys? This is underneath. Let me see if I try to get this with one hand. That's the lip right there. There's the lip right here. 
you want to make sure you see that it came out make sure that one of these pieces slide up in that inside that lip because if you just jam it in from this side if you just jam it in on top and try to push it down that's why so you go to the light that's why see that little lip in there that's why this is this was bulging out like that it looks like it happened to whoever installed this but yeah make sure that little lip back there make sure you get a little that first line in that groove and it should fall in there per perfectly fine i need both hands for this let me be right back so there you go fellas i learned something new today too so um double check make sure that that foam is not come out the arrow facing down i'm gonna make take a little peek in here make sure there's no like like debris in here this seems pretty clean in there felt the clip on so and that's it thanks for watching